All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Brad Ford City Career Mode. We are here today with a game against Burnley at Turf Moor in the third round of the FA Cup. And if you want to look at our last encounter with Burnley, even though they are our promotion rivals, we uh, beat them 4-0 last time, so it's a bit of a... Bit of a lost cause for them, I think, maybe. Imagine if we can win 4-0 again. That would be perfect. That would be... That would be brilliant. That would be ideal. But anyway. I'm in a good mood because last episode we managed to get a win. And it was a 3-1 win over Sheffield Wednesday. Our rival... Well, not really our rivals, but we got revenge for when they beat us earlier in the season and handed us our only loss so far in Season 4, which is good. I'm sure there's going to be more losses to come. There's no way we win the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup, so... Somewhere along the line. But anyway, we might even lose this next match to Burnley, to be honest. Possibilities are endless. What we're going to do, though, is try and put out a good squad here. The best squad we can, perhaps. Quite a few players who are tired, though. So bring Haaland in there. He's fully fit. Hopefully he'll put in a full strength performance. Hennessy can come in for two Mori. And I think we'll have to bring in Vuches for Sterling, won't we? I mean, Sterling is on the bench. Sorry, Brown. You're being uh, dropped again. Uh, Greenwood can come in. And if he gets too tired, we'll swap him out. I think that's how we'll roll for this game. I'm going to bring a couple more centre mids on. Because I didn't have enough centre mids last game. Lundberg is one guy I definitely want on there anyway. Sorry, Fredrickson. You're getting replaced by your countrymen. I think that will do the trick. So a slightly weakened team, but not fully. We just have to keep rotating for fitness reasons. Especially when we've got so many games coming up. This is the last game of 2022, though, against Burnley. So, hopefully we can end on a win. And the first game of 2023... Wait, did I say this, this is the last game of 2023? This is the last game of 2022. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I don't know if I did or not. I'm just making sure. We go into 2023, and the first game of 2023 is our first leg in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup against Manchester City. So it doesn't get any easier. We then get Cardiff, who are one of our promotion rivals. Then Burnley, again, at Turf Moor. We literally face them again at Turf Moor in two weeks. We're like, oh, hey, welcome back. I'm like, yep, yeah, cool. Leeds uh, at home. Reading away. And then the other leg against Manchester City. Hopefully we have enough in the first leg to get through, but we probably won't because it's Man City. And then Huddersfield to face off so January's a really busy month. But regardless, we're going to not talk about the future. We're going to talk about the present. And we're going to look at the news stories here quickly. Lebedev's effort on goal helped his team grab a 3-1 win against Sheffield Wednesday. Dab. Eric. Eric? Why am I saying Eric? Erling brought Haaland. She was a class. Why did I think Eric? Oh, sleep deprivation is fun. Let's see what the story says about uh, Haaland. Top players put in top performances, and that's exactly what Erling Braut Haaland has been doing lately. He's been turning on game after game and really proved to one of the standout players at Bradford. That's pretty fucking lightly. Sparkling performance by Tamori. Best 11 of the week. How many have we got in there? Oh, is that the same as last week's? It hasn't. Wait, I'm confused. That's the exact same 11 as last week's, so unless they've just used the same 11 again. Sorry about me, I sneezed something came up on me and I uh, had to uh, use it to sneeze. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I sneezed. All right. Anyway, we're going to go into this game. I'm going to stop wasting time now. At this point, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of wasting time. Hopefully, it doesn't say the squads are still undefined because that would be a, a bit of an issue. I'd be slightly concerned. Uh, let's just put all the gold news on, to be honest. Let's just, let's just listen to every single bit of gold news that this game could give me in this round because why not? You know, Might as well just have everyone on. Full of gold news, full of surprises. The main one I want to hear about is obviously that bottom one, but let's just keep it updated with everyone. So this is the squad we're going to go with. In fact, actually, we're going to go with a gamble here. We're going to gamble on Selesnev. Will I regret this? Possibly. Will we do it anyway? Yes. Selesnev's going to start in goal. Kakachi and Virtus as a fullback. So Kakachi, of course, is the captain. Hennessy and Tadebo, who's is actually quite tired. At centre-back, probably bring Tadibo off for Tomori at some point. O'Leary, Van Damme and Greenwood in the midfield. They're quite tired too, so they're probably all, or at least two of them will come off. 
Carbonero on the left, Haaland in the middle, Hlosek on the right. We're going to Turf more and we're going through to the next round. I dare Burnley to stop us. I bloody dare them. So let's see what undefined lineup they have when we get in. Uh, FIFA? It feels like everything's taking longer to load in career mode. Maybe I've got to the point where I can't do any more. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've got Henrik's, haven't they? I need to do it in different parts, don't I? Uh, yeet. Yeet. Come on. Yeet. How will it played? Yeet. Oh. Cool. Let's go into the game. Turf more. Well, Lancashire is known as a particularly rainy part of England, and the rain hasn't gone away here at Turf Moor. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon Burnley, a team you'd expect to be the favourite to get automatically promoted back up to Premier League, is in that position. We are above them, though. We're in a position to get the championship title, but that does not matter today because it is the third round of the FA Cup. This is a domestic cup competition. League rivalries are put aside for a cup rivalry. Seven goals in the last three matches for Mendy. It doesn't say his name, but I know it's Mendy. He can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, I'm looking forward to some long shooting because he's a specialist. Just watch how he tees the ball up. I'm so confused why it's coming up with undefined players now. It's kind of annoying. Then Confusing. All of a it pings off his boot on the way to goal. Hopefully it doesn't fuck up the career mode. That'll be a nightmare. Anyway. Looks like they're putting out mm, quite a big strong lineup to be honest. Mendy's playing. Mendy concerns me to be honest. Since we've got seven goals in the last three matches, that's Haaland levels of scoring. Let's see their team. Oh. It looks like a conventional four four two. Let's not let's not see their team. Let's not see their team. I don't want to see their team. Four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up Useful. with the wide midfielders. I don't know what's system. going on with FIFA 20 right now. Maybe it's my career mode that I've gone too far into the matrix. And there's our team. <laughs> is the game broken? And this is the initial eleven for the visitors today. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. Bloody hell, anyway. Play, especially with you know the squad already. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. So concerning. This is the only, this is the only other episode of Korea what I'm recording today anyway, so hopefully it'll fix itself by the time I go back to doing some more. Robbie Brady now. You pick up you pick up who played for Burnley on the bottom bit, they'll show them over and over again. Boyo Valle Vallejo or Valley, as he's called in this game, is there as well. Greenwood, they've got Durham, they've got Eric Durham. Eh, not too bad. They've got Benjamin Henricks as well, who has tackled Carbonero. Mendes. Gibson. I'm just trying to work out who Benson. they've got on the pitch. Benson. I think Benson's a youth player. Mendy. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> what a save from Sellers now. I'm just trying to, I'm panicking trying to get it clear here. This is not the Burnley we 4 0 earlier in the season, I'll tell you that much. Greenwood. Haaland, we get close down, yeah, Spurs fucking do it. Greenwood. Carbonero's. <laughs> Spurs are beating whoever they're playing, I've completely no forgotten mistake. who they are playing. Stevenage, of course they're winning. Henricks, Crossin. I thought I would have been slightly pissed, I'm not going to lie. Mendy almost putting Burnley 1-0 up here position. in the... Third round of the FA Cup. Sells nerve, it was past him, but luckily it's past the goal as well. I also thought maybe our defender well, would defend it. Sean Dyche upset the on the touchline. Might make a new like a new save file for this career mode just so it doesn't if it does something happens to it. If something does happen to it, God, English is difficult. If something does happen to it, then I've got a backup. So probably should have done earlier in the career mode, to be honest. O'Leary, Carbonero. Oh, look at the speed of Carbonero here. Oh, it's saved. Haaland, oh, it's blocked, dude. Oh, it should have been 1-0 right there with Carbonero. We had the time, we had the space. Couldn't get the finish, though. 
Why couldn't we have got an easier team in the FA Cup? <laughs> I mean, Burnley aren't exactly difficult, but they're not really easy either. Oh, I was going to take a throw, but I decided to switch it to uh, Liberato. I'm just going to throw it to Carbonero. Van Damme. Haaland. Turn your man. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't. I think it was me as well. Me is a good defender. Catch it. Try me your score. I don't know who they're playing. I shouldn't check either, but I kind of want to. Leicester. Tranmere are beating Leicester. Carbonero. Haaland. O'Leary. Just shoot it, lads. See what happens. It goes straight to the gloves of Pope. Brady getting chased by Vultures here. And Vultures comes across with a tackle. I think it actually might be a Bradford throw-in. Lashek to Vuters into Van Damme here. Dunlow O'Leary, that's not the aim we needed there of the pass, but O'Leary makes up for it by intercepting. Haaland! No! Carbonero can't get there. <laughs> Hopefully, this isn't my second loss of the season. I kind of want to get to round the 32. It's a goal for Aston Villa. 22 minutes played. Escobar score for Aston Villa. I'm not sure they're playing. Giving the ball away. Sheffield Wednesday. We just beat them. So they won't have any momentum going into their oh, an match. I didn't think Akachi was going to get there, honestly. Positive I was going to start bringing my keeper out. Good defence by the captain. Greenwood. Haaland. O'Leary. Got a bit of room now. Can he make it one here? No. Fucking Nick bloody Pope, mate. Defenders defend. Goalkeepers make saves like that. Benson was on his ass, but O'Leary took on the shot and it was saved by Nick Pope. O'Leary's becoming quite a bit of a fixture in this team, I'm not going to lie. But we do have the full 11 at full fitness. O'Leary's just been rotating and he's been actually putting in good performances. Flushek. Haaland was meant to be a target, but he ran away from it. So that's that's useful, really. Vuters isn't going to get there ahead of Valley. Brady now. Hopefully we don't see a Burnley counter go on here. In the match being played at the Stoke City Stadium, Alan McAnally. Stoke has scored, I think. They bounce all the way over there. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Two 0 to Stoke. Who are they playing? Charlton. Okay. Throw into Burnley. After the ricochet, it went about 900 miles. Carbonero, just stay on your guy. Don't run around him. All right, O'Leary gets the ball. Carbonero should, but doesn't. The ball there. In possession, Mendes here. Others to play it Oh, where's my defence at, dude? Tellersnev saves it. Where did my centre backs go? Just wanted to get it out of there. Carbonero can't pick up on the ball. Envies. In possession, Mendes here. Honestly, if Burnley pass it in there, that's probably 1 0. The guy took the shot on the and luckily saved by Tellersnev. Kakachi O'Leary now. Onto Carbonero. Are oh, you kidding me, <laughs> dude? I understand there's been a change to the scoreline in the Middlesbrough match. Alan McAnally. I think the last time we beat Burnley was when we had Yotta as well. So this is uh, Yotta, the first Yotta list game against Burnley, I'm pretty sure. Just get it clear, I don't care where. I, I would like it to go to our player, but of course it doesn't. Can they get in behind them? Catchy should header. Does. Carbonero. Well, that didn't pass it there. It's funny. That's funny, that one. Now That's a good one. Good one, FIFA. No. Okay, good. Mendy with a terrible header. I <laughs> almost kicked him in the head, to be fair. Kind of to avoid my boot at the same time. And thus, the shot was off target. What I don't need in this game is extra time, because I'm already... Oh, and there's so many fixtures that have built up this season. So it'd be good to just win it in one 90 minute match. If it goes to extra time, then shit. If it goes to a replay, then I guess that's not too bad. I don't know how the run 64 works off a hand. To rem I don't remember off hand, to be honest. Haaland. I do remember that Haaland scores goals, but not yet in this match. Well, Derek, surely it's a matter of time before they score. One of these teams has got to break through at some point. Whether it's first half or second half, we've got to have a goal right here at some point. O'Leary. Carbonero. 
Bacace. Van Damme. Well, Not here, he's aiming for with the pass, but we'll go with it and see if it works. I tried to shoot with Greenwood. I'm going to fully honest with you. I d what? Had to knock him down. Had to knock him down, Peg. Bamiang has scored for Leicester. Crazy, I'm saying that. <laughs> I thought we <laughs> were Arsenal playing, but I remember Bamiang signed for Leicester because we played them in the Carabao Cup. Come on, Haaland! Put the burners on! Come on, you! Well, <laughs> Pope saves it again. Oh, I should have fucking curled it a little bit more, but that's just how it goes. Pope is <laughs> unbeatable so far this game. There you go, so is Sellers now, so it kind of works out. Blaschek. So Debo the target. You fucking got to be kidding me. Where are you aiming at? Oh, it's a corner. That's why it came off the Burnley player. That's fair. That was probably on target. My bad, Debo. I completely apologise. <laughs> Feel bad now a little bit, but he's in the game. It's a fucking AI. I know he's a real player, but I don't think he'll get offended. I don't know what the injury time is for the first half, but we'll see. Very soon, in the round of uh, that, Tadebo. Now I'm going to yell at you. Where the fuck were you aiming at? And why did you just leave it for Haaland? I'm pretty sure he was right next to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, Haaland was ahead of it, that's fine. Ugh. I just want to get a goal and not lose, apparently. It might have a knock-on effect in the league, and I don't want that. It'll have to come in the second half, though, I think, the goal, if we're going to get one, because first half's pretty much over. I don't know how much injury time we're going to get. I don't know if it announced it or what, but can't be that long. Greenwood. Try one more time. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. No, no, don't tackle me, don't tackle me. You don't, no, don't. <laughs> Give me options in the attack, dudes. It must have been three minutes of injury time, I don't know. But anyway, we hit half time here at Turf Moor. Still goalless. Mendy hasn't been playing great, but he has had some chances. And we need to make sure he doesn't get any more in the second half. Otherwise, it's an issue. And the Turf Moor hosts will go through. And we don't want that. So, the uh, long list of games here. If your team is here, then you can pause, obviously, and take a look at the result. See if you're enjoying the result. Or if you're not too happy with it. The reason I'm going all the way at the bottom is because I want to see how Wolves and Man United do. Man United winning 2-0. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, you love to see it. You love to see it. Match facts. We deserve to be winning or based off chances. They may deserve to win and based off possession. But we have nine shots late on target. We haven't broken through yet. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> so second half, we're breaking through. The two teams have switched around. Kicking off second half of Turf Moor here with Bradford City ready, primed to possibly get a goal here. We've already lost Looking the ball. <laughs> the ball but not anymore. It's going to be played to Wouters, who's going to have a heavy touch and lose it out. Half expected that to happen. Oh dear. Brady, Tackled. Vitters. Greenwood. Adam Hlaschek. Erling Braut Haaland. Play into the middle. Tried to take a shot on, but there's so many defenders on them there. Can't do jack shit, really, to be honest. Another live game in the championship. Burnley will be playing WA Birmingham in the next game in the championship. I don't remember who we'll be playing. I know we've got fucking yeah, Man City in the Carabao Cup semi finals first. I'm pretty sure I read it. I think it was Cardiff. I want to say it was Cardiff, but I don't actually remember fully. Substitution for Burnley. We won't know who it is because. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Names are coming up. Ashley Barnes coming on for uh, Mendy, which is an interesting one early in the second half. Maybe trying to keep Mendy fit for the league. I don't know. Maybe he didn't feel he was going to score today. Ashley Barnes might their way to a goal, perhaps. Virtus coming across, very good tackle. God, this, is a, this actually feels like a Premier League side that I'm playing against. This doesn't feel like Burnley. I mean, Burnley are a Premier League side, but I mean within this career mode, okay? Just making that clear. 
Another Premier League side in real life. Where I was, oh, they're a Premier League side in real life. So it's like, okay, it's a Premier League side. I'm aware. I'm just having an argument with myself, to be honest. Borja Valle is the target there. And the cross is very much Mendes may put in another ball, and he does. Headed away, not fully away. Sellers never the save. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Possibly going to bring on Lundberg soon. Oh, can to get a goal. Number 10 kept it in the proceedings, and I'm not sure who shot it, but it was saved. I think it might be going over anyway, but Selznev was not taking any chances. I thought I said not like that. <laughs> anyway, corner for Burnley. Selznev, get back on your damn line. Mendes, going to deliver it in again once, once again for the Clarets. Oh, it's a bad header. Luckily, it was them who headed it, so it's not another tips. corner. Well, heading practice in training next week. That was pretty average, to be fair. I think it was Barnes with a header. I think he plays number 10, right? Well, that's the I should know that because he's got subbed right on not long ago. Watching his players come so close and being powerless to Barnes help. just getting it over. It was almost 1-0 to Burnley. See, we've had our shots, but we've been putting them on a target, apart from one. They just haven't been putting them on target. They just have, they've got a good goalkeeper who's saving them, literally, in this game right now. Greenwood wins well, the ball in the field. On to Van Damme. Not who I was aiming for. And the game fully knows that. I think the game's fully aware that I was aiming for the player that was running through open. But it was like, uh, well, change our mind here. Van Damme. Oh. 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 You can hear that being announced there by the commentators. The next game for us is Man City. I thought this was going to be a difficult one. On. I'd say it's going to be equally as difficult. Well, I, I would say equally as difficult. Brady. Way more difficult. Well, Brady tried to head it up for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. You have to go into his fucking head to fucking work that one out. Loschek. Spurs have scored again. 4 0 to Spurs in that match. We can't get a bloody sh <laughs> Well, we could get a shot at him. We've had a lot of shots. We can't get a bloody goal ourselves here at Turf Moor, and it's actually becoming a bit frustrating. O'Leary, Van Damme, Haaland, back into Van Damme, on one more please, shoots it, you can't be joking, there's just a defender there every time. This is not the Burnley I 4 0 I'm very upset about it, Van Damme, getting pushed off the ball, but no referee decision there, interesting. Moino, referee's a Burnley fan. Butters tackles and it's going to be another substitution for Burnley. I'm, I don't want to make a substitution. Brady coming off for Kamano. He actually started scoring quite a bit at the start of the season, but he's kind of fallen off. I recognise that name. I think it was Kamano anyway. I don't remember offhand. It might be a different name. To be honest, there's been a lot that's happened this season. A lot more than usual. This is where Bradford City have hit their uh, we're actually somewhat decent sort of move here. Benjamin Henrichs. We're now in Come on, dude. 20 minutes, 20 minutes left of the game. If it goes to extra time, I will have to make some substitutions just for fitness reasons. Cool. A tackle, but it doesn't matter. Okay, what the. <laughs> Emmerich, Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang scores again. I don't know what. I think that's Henrichs. I don't know what he was thinking there. 18 minutes left for us to try and break through with the goal. But will we do it? I the, I don't see it right now, personally. But there's still a bit of time left. Oh, player just got beaten the air. No. 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 Fuck off, here. dude! I'm tackling that prick, and he just doesn't register. Fucking game, it's actual position. ass crack, mate. My player runs past it, they're tackling the break. Right I've got no right defender on him now, and he's just gone and scored it. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. We have had the most chances, we've had so many opportunities, and yet they're the ones that go ahead. This game is so fucking dog shit sometimes. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to stop this recording and start it, restart the game. <laughs> I'm joking, but bloody Christ. Dude, I can never perform in the, the FA Cup. I thought maybe we'll have an FA Cup and the Carabao Cup run. To be fair, it means we can focus on the league a little bit more if we do lose. Can I get some movement from some of my players?
Many thanks, Alan. I just stay calm and not capitulate here. We need to fucking try and do something here. O'Leary, Carbonero. Dude. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. <laughs> oh my god, I think the player's just tired. Focus on Man City. Well, just listen to the atmosphere, Derek. It's been such a tight game, but can they see this out now? As long as they'll be in the league, I guess it's probably. Uh, if, this, if the win comes here and not in the league, I guess it's one thing. Ten minutes left. We'll bring on Lundberg. I don't know how much of a difference he's going to bloody make, but we'll bring him on anyway. Durham coming off for Vicari. Oh, frustration in this fucking game is a madness, dude. Now we just have to try and equalise. I don't think we will because Nick Pope has been the fucking goalkeeper of the season so far this game. I think he's been goalkeeper of the season in the actual league as well, but that's not that's beside the point. Valeri making way for Lundberg. Can our little uh, youth midfielder do anything different to what my, the rest of my team have been doing? We've been playing good. It's just they've scored now. Morale's gone down a little. Oh, you, you've got to be joking. I passed that off way before he tackles me, and my guy runs away from the ball as well. That's a banger if it goes in. I wouldn't even be mad if that had gone in. Dude, we are struggling. Barnes has absolutely rocketed that off the crossbar. That goes in. I'm not even mad about losing anymore, to be honest. Well, he's doing everything in his power to help his team get over the line here. He's kicking every ball. Sellers, Nev. Aim it for Greenwood. Greenwood better get this. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. look how that fucking bounces. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Close down by Tadebo. Well Flush it. Blue middle to Van Damme. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Not where I passed it all. I passed it down to the right wing and the game's like, oh, you want to pass it to Haaland who's been surrounded by half of Burnley's fucking population. Sure. Van Damme comes across and gets the ball back. I'm slightly I'm beginning to lose it, to be honest, in case you haven't noticed. Haaland has just slowed down there, which is exactly what we didn't need. Wait. Oh, no. you've, got, you've got to be on drugs. You've got to be on drugs. This That's game just doesn't want me to win this. Well, they're doing a fine job of My fucking friend says sometimes he's scripted. I say, no, nah, it's not, but I'm <sighs> honestly half. starting to believe him. Ashley Barnes, Bryce Mendes. Well, that's how to break oh, the dude. <sighs> no. And it's a pass. pass to the right, cunt! I knew it was going to do that. I'm trying to pass it into Howland there. It fucks you off to Horshe. Even though I knew he was offside, I didn't want it there. Oh, it's going to be the second loss of our fucking season. You've got to be actually fucking pissing in my mouth, dude. I'm so mad. We've had the majority of everything. Except for possession. <laughs> That's beside the point. We've had the majority of chances. And yet they're the ones that are going to fucking take the victory here. Unless we can pull something out of the pack. Four minutes of added time. Greenwood. Lundberg to Greenwood. Floshek is in space. I believe he is onside. This attack looks highly promising. They must finish! <laughs> so many friendly players there. I spy seven. Seven in their own box. Plus this one that's closest to me. Greenwood. He's got the score! Holland! I fucking love you, dude! Oh my god! I'm sorry for yelling right down the mic, but this Norwegian fucking king has saved me again. This is an emotional roller coaster. I am so happy. I honestly thought when I shot that, I thought it was going to be an easy save for Pope. But it's snuck in. Fuck you, Gibson. Fuck you, Pope. Fuck off, Burnley. I mean, it might go to a replay. It might go to extra time where yeah, we just have to put more work in. But I honestly don't care. We've put ourselves back in at the physical last minute. Oh, the emo it's an emotional Serve roller coaster. That's FIFA one 20 one. for you. The biggest emotional roller coaster in the business. And that is that. The end of the game. Even Steven, and so a replay will be It will necessary. be a replay, okay. Yeah, it was a tight game, wasn't it, Derek? I couldn't split the two over Holy the shit, they go dude. As a result, work to do for the coaches to try and work out. Burnley have got to be so pissed, now. but I am overjoyed. Well, the goal we've been pushing times, for, the goal it, we deserve, the but majority of the match based on our chances, it, has finally been maybe. scored. Good win that was. I'm no longer crying. Burnley fans are the ones that are crying. They fully thought their team was going through, but Haaland, I fucking love this dude.
No homo. Actually, might be a little bit of homo in there after that. It couldn't have been more last minute if it tried to be. <laughs> we end up with a draw, but I think under the circumstances, that's fine. 12 shots to 10 on target, 8 shots to 3 on target for them. 55% possession for them, 45% for us. Man of the match, of course. Who else could it have gone to? Erling Braut Haaland. Sellers and rating's a bit, a bit critical there. He did make a couple of good saves. But we're putting Rossi in for the replay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Haaland, the only real standout for us. Their best player, probably Kamano. He did get the goal for them. It would have, would have sent them through had Haaland not been the fucking legend that he is. I absolutely love this man. Haaland is never getting sold. He said to put him in because he'd make a difference to the team. And boy, did he. Results here. I kind of want to scroll down to the Man United one before it goes on to the next page. 4-1. Uh, okay, decent. Spurs won 5-0 in the end. How did Leicester do in the end? They won 4-1 after going down 1-0. Okay. Those are probably the results you expect at the end of the day from the Premier League teams. Oh my god, I've got a fucking headache. Yes, but I've got a headache, so bear with me. The clash against Burnley didn't reach a conclusion today. Are you satisfied with today's performance? Yes, actually, to be honest. Oh, yes and no, I guess. We need to work... We should have scored this. We'll look ahead to the replay match. We expected a tough match, of course. Always is in the Emirates FA Cup. I thought overall the lads played well. And we'll look ahead to the replay match now. Pope saved them for a full 94 minutes. Managed to get the equaliser in the last minute. It's rather lucky to walk out with a draw. Wouldn't you agree? No. No. Nothing to do with luck. Absolutely not. Luck didn't factor into this result. We aim to win every game we play, period. We struggled at times today, but the draw was deserved. I said at the end of the last episode as well, we couldn't get a draw in this match, but we did. So there's that as well. Enrix was one of the best players in opposition today. Is his confident display in defence the reason bad your failures to get a positive result against Burnley? He's a good player, but that's not the reason. The reason is called Nick Pope. Henrix is a really good player. He's making a difference at Burnley. My players can learn something from watching him in action, especially Sterling, who just got run up. No it wasn't even Sterling who was playing today. Sorry. Uh, who was it? Kakache. He needs to fucking stay in a fullback position. Vuto is actually quite good. Sterling wasn't playing today. Uh, we're getting a hell of a lot of uh, emails here to kick off January. Hey, Gaffer, I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me get out Let's play while I'm in form. No, bo no bother, buddy. Influential performance. You fucking kept us alive in the FA Cup. The recent chances you've given me and the team in a lot of I can repay your faith from London Vooters. I'm proud of you. You actually played quite well. Proud to see you working hard and I look forward to seeing more for you out there. Four inbox messages here. We've got uh, a youth squad report. Govorov. He's not looking too great anymore. Uh, Shekadanov. Okay, these guys are not looking as good as I first expected, but we'll keep him going. Mason Morgan will be asking to be called up soon, but he'll get called up and immediately loaned out. So. Nicholas Cook has gone on his one-year loan move to Family Chow. Loan offer for Will Martin from Sporting. Not Sporting Lisbon, I should make sure you guys know that. Although it's not really a big deal. Important transfer market information. Right, decent. <sighs> Fucking Christ, dude. Holy shit, I am emotional. Selznev did put in a decent display, but obviously he needs work in training. So we're going to give him two training drills. Hopefully he hits 71. Probably won't. Actually, most likely won't. I shouldn't have given them a second one, but it's neither here nor there. Give Fredrickson a bit of a run in the training as well. Don't want it to be another one that uh, I let fly under the radar. And Lundberg. These guys probably get loaned out pretty soon during this window, but might as well give them a bit of training while they're still here. And then the final one will go to Vooters. I actually see him as... Not starting centre back, but definitely backup centre back for a foreseeable future. I think he probably has performed better than what Conti would have done if Conti stayed at the club. I don't know. Selznev hitting the 71. Fair play to him. A from Fredrickson, C and D from Vuters and Lundberg. Right. This is it, boys. We've got the wage for this. Do we have the board's permission for this? Oh, we've got a couple more players through here. But we're going for this man. I should have shot this and viewed. I'm going to do it quickly. Hold on. Life hack. Alright, Yuri. 
We'll have to offer a wage between 66 and 105k. I don't trust this guy. We're going to delegate to sign. And we're going to start at 100. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to start at 90. And not offer more than his current deal. We'll try that. See what comes through on that end of Spectrum. And could we bring in Yuri Telemans for Season 5? It's a possibility. We're going to sim up to the Man City game, though, and see what we get. If we get any offers in or any offers out or anything like that. Loan offers, whatever. See what happens between now and the game at Man City. You just got a monthly report. Oh, it's just a fucking thing where it comes up on the second, regardless of what you want for Christmas. Go from one cup game to another, and the players will be exhausted. And then we play Cardiff on the 7th. I'm assuming our replay will probably be like the 10th or 11th or something. Uh, Ethan Robertson. Of, oh, Celtic have come in for a loan deal on Ethan Robertson. Sure, as long as you give him game time. Cool with it. But that's going to end where we uh, finish off this episode today. Next time we'll find out if we sign Yuri Tielemans for a pre-contract deal. Also, we'll, we'll also find out how we do in the first leg of the EFL Cup or Carabao Cup against Manchester City. We've got a pre-match conference. Leroy Sane is a top goal scorer in this competition, but Greenwood is there too. So we'll have to keep an eye out for Leroy Sane. But anyway, that's going to end another emotional episode of the Bradford City career. Well, Draxler has gone to Everton, and we've loaned out Cook, which is one of our uh, youth academy players. But yeah, like I said, it's been an emotional episode. Haaland absolutely saved us at the last second, beyond a shadow of a doubt. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this <laughs> roller coaster of an episode and I'll see you guys next time when we take on Man City at the Etihad. Oh boy, we're going to the Etihad. <laughs>